This is Digital by Computing. Today we're going to look at how to copy a ISO or really any sort of file into a data store within vSphere 6.7 or 6.5. So my name is Emilio, I work in the IT industry and today we're going to look at the simple steps on how to copy an ISO into a data store or a data store in uh, VMware, ESXi or vCenter um, in 6.5 or 6.7. The process is very, very easy. You can do this by connecting directly into, a, uh, into an ESXi host using the vSphere client, um, the web client, or you can do it via a vCenter installation so you can log in through vCenter and then vCenter will have the multiple hosts connected. Now by default uh, a data store should be created on that ESXi host if the ESXi host has some physical storage. So if I select one of the hosts here and I go to the data stores tab you'll see that I've got two data stores. In this case my data store one is the uh, the local disk on this particular ESXi host and then my ready NAS is a separately attached um, NAS which I'm sharing as an NFS um, repository uh, and is accessible from my ESXi host. So really you've got to determine where you want to put this ISO. So let, let's say I've got some um, you know a NAS or something connected to the ESXi host and or a data store what have you um, from local disks but all I'd really do is right click on that data store and say browse files. Alternatively, you can also click on this storage tab up the top here and you'll see a collection of all of your data stores that you have connected to your vCenter environment or your ESXi host itself. So I can literally just go into here, you'll see that by default it's gone and you know shows me a full directory structure of every single folder within my um, data store. And you'll see I've got a folder in here called ISOs, so I can select that ISOs folder. You'll see that I've already got some ISOs in here. And then all I do is upload file. All right, so I'm gonna click on upload file and then I just browse to the location. All right, so on my desktop here, I've got an ISOs folder. And I wanna copy the this particular ISO, which is uh, 6.7 of VMware, all right? You can obviously see I've got Windows 2016 as well, but let's just copy this one and say open. And then you'll see a progress bar appear and you can see that it's now copying that particular ISO into this data store, into this folder ISOs in this data store. So depending on how big that ISO is, it may take a little bit of time, but it should be nice, quick and easy. So the other way you can do this is easily from the host itself. We go into data stores, and then I can just right click on a data store and say browse files or I can just click into it and it will take me to that same location where we just were before. All right, uh, and that's it. Look, we're not gonna finish till it's finished. We're not gonna wait till it's finished. Uh, so the process will take a little bit of time depending on the size as I said. But then once it's done, that ISO will appear within your particular data store and then you can go and use it and mount it uh, to a new VM as you need. So that is the nice and easy way on how to connect and how to upload a ISO into a data store in VMware 6.5 or 6.7. Thanks for watching. I hope you found it helpful. Love it if you commented below. Let me know your thoughts and uh, we'll talk to you next time. So if you found that video helpful, please like it and subscribe to my channel Digital by Computing just on the button there for more videos.